guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's excel vba video we are going to continue our discussion that we started in the previous video so in the previous video we learned about the delete cells function in microsoft excel and we saw that how can we delete the cells using the visual basic code now what kind of cells we can delete we can delete a single cell we can delete a range of cells or in one go we can delete an entire row and an entire column we also looked at how can we delete entire rows and entire columns using two features that is using the entire row and the entire column functions that are built in in visual basic or using the ranges there was a drawback for the ranges as well that is you need to know the starting and the ending point otherwise your delete function would not work properly as you have wanted so it's advisable to use the entire row and the entire column feature or the function so in the previous video what we learned about was basically focusing on a single row or a single column we tried to delete a column a single column we tried to delete a row but that was a single row now in this video what we are going to see is how can we delete multiple rows and multiple columns in one go so to understand it uh in a better way suppose you want to delete columns b c and d these are these three entire columns that you want to delete okay now what is the constraint over here is you have to delete all these three columns in one go but if there was not such constraint then what you would have done is you would have written the range function like this range within double quotes b1 put a dot entire column then again put a dot and select delete similarly you would have copied this and written the same uh, piece of code but for the column c1 and simply you would have just pasted this for the column d1 but that's when your column name or the number of the columns that you got to delete is extremely low it's simply 3 but still you got to do some of these steps these huge steps you want to do so to save your time and prevent you from writing excessive code what visual basic has given you the opportunity is you got to specify the range the starting and the ending points using a colon just specify d1 so b1 till d1 is your range these three uh, ranges that is b1 c1 d1 these three would be selected and after this we have got this entire column what this entire column will do will select the entire columns for whatever range is given that means it would select this entire column then it would select this entire column and then it would select this entire column and then what operation will it perform on all of them it would delete all of them so that is exactly what is uh, we are going to do through this statement so let's execute that and you can see that that's exactly what happened whatever the contents were in cell e have been shifted to cell number b and the contents of cell b c and d have been completely deleted so that's how you can delete the entire columns more than one column in one go so there must be something similar for the rows yes there is so let's just delete this line of code and see suppose you want to delete rows from 2 till 5 okay this is the all the highlighted data is what you want to delete so how can you delete it so first write the range function now in the highlighted data if you see the starting point is the row a2 Ma means second row is where we want to start a deletion so a2 just write it then put a colon now see what is the ending row the ending row is a5 or the fifth row so just write a5 then what function we are going to use we are going to use entire row function cuz the uh, entire row is what we are going to delete right now then you can put a dot and use the delete function so it would delete this highlighted data if you just execute it then you can see all the highlighted data went off and the data that was below it has taken up its space by shifting the cells up so that is all about deleting the cells now you are 
able to delete any kind of data that you want to delete whether it is from between the table or from an independent cell or wherever it is you can delete any kind of data but microsoft excel provides you another feature so if you just expand it and go to the cells option then in this delete there is another feature we have looked at delete cells we have delete uh, looked at delete sheet rows we have looked at delete sheet columns but there is another option given to us that is delete sheet now you can delete the uh, data from sheets but what if you want to delete the entire sheet so a simple explanation for it was that you can just click on this plus and a new sheet would be created simply you can just right click and go to delete and here this microsoft will give you a warning you can either delete it or click on cancel but what if you want to achieve the same th thing through the visual basic code then how can you go with it okay so for that purpose we are going to look at a new function that is given to us by visual basic and the name of that function is worksheets so if you just write the name of the function as worksheets and uh, remember one thing it is not worksheet it is worksheets that's plural of worksheet worksheets so this worksheets function works similar to the range function but the range function was used to refer to a cell or to a ranges of cells this worksheet function is used to refer to a worksheet or a range of worksheets okay but we are going to just look simply at a single worksheet okay so let's see that how it works so just write worksheets then open the parenthesis and open the double quotes okay so as you can see it has given us the uh, intellisense that it wants an index now this index since we are using double quotes so it must be a text over here now what is this text going to be this text is going to be the name of the sheet that you want to delete and this has got to be exactly similar to the name of the sheet that you want to delete the name of my sheet over here is sheet 12 so i simply write over here as sheet 12 close the double quotes close the parenthesis put a dot and now you can see you have not got any of the options so you need to be very careful while typing this thing since i want to delete it so simple i am going to just type in delete and when i execute it let's see what happens yes microsoft excel gives me a warning that you really want to delete this sheet or not so yes i really want to delete it so just click on delete and you can see that sheet 12 has vanished now there is no sheet 12 existing in my workbook only sheet 8 is existing uh, simply I want to show you one other thing if you have sheet 8 and then you have sheet 13 there is no sheet 12 right now okay but if you want to execute this uh, statement that is sheet 12 if you mistakenly write a wrong name then what happens so if you just execute it then what you get is subscript out of range this is kind of an error that you get why because microsoft excel searches for a sheet named as sheet 12 and it cannot find any sheet by this name so that is why it has thrown an exception or thrown an error that i cannot find the sheet named as sheet 12 however if you just change it to something that already exists say sheet 13 then if you execute it then microsoft excel recognizes it and gives you a warning that you really want to delete it or not okay so that was the usage of this worksheets function and uh, first of all uh, let us understand that what this worksheets function will do this worksheets function is actually going to refer to a bunch of worksheets that are actually existing in your current workbook okay now uh, using this worksheets function you get to provide the name of the sheet that you want to access now since i have provided sheet 13 which means worksheets function has got the information that yes i want to perform all the operations on sheet 13 and then it asks for another thing that what operation do you actually want to perform so what operation do i want to perform i want to delete it so that's why i provided a dot and written the delete function which enables microsoft excel to understand that yes i want to delete worksheet 13 so uh, that's all with the delete function now from the next video onwards what we are going to do is actually start with a new function in microsoft excel and that is known as the insert cells function so this insert cells function is again present in the home tab in the cells group only this is this insert function so using this we can insert the cells and all about this insert cells function we are going to learn in the next video 
in today's video we learned all about the delete cells function and that is all for today's video thanks for watching